VGM Club is North America's number one cost solutions company, serving over 3,500 courses nationwide. From turf equipment to chemicals and fertilizers, course accessories, and more, VGM Club helps you stack up savings. See how you can save at vgmclub.com backslash golfdom. Hey everybody, it's Seth Jones, Editor-in-Chief of Golfdom Magazine. I'm out here at the Virginia GCSA Fall Conference, and I'm being joined by Carrie McGrath. Carrie is a uh, Washington, D.C.-based attorney with Hunton and Williams, and uh, she's here speaking to uh, the Virginia chapter about WOTUS. Carrie, thanks so much for taking the time to uh, come out here and talk to Golfdom Magazine as well. Thanks, Seth. Good to be here. So what, uh, give me a little bit of background about yourself. Now, how, did you, how did you get to the point to where you're uh, an expert on WOTUS? It's, it's all pretty new to some of us, <laughs> but uh, you seem to be pretty dialed in on yeah, it. Yeah, thank you. Um, well, I've been with Hutton and Williams for about five years, and uh, we have a pretty robust natural resources practice, and we do a lot of Clean Water Act issues. And this water of the U.S. issue has been around for years. And um, we've been tracking it through various, you know, regulatory actions from the agencies and the court cases. And, and so this most recent effort has been about two years in the making and um, we have a lot of different clients that are actively involved and so we've been representing them and um, trying to sort of shape the way that this comes out. Okay, great. Now I know, you know, obviously we're in a state of flux with what's going on right now. I know you can't quite tell us the future, but what's your crystal ball say about where, what's going to happen in the next month, six months, year? Where's where this going to go? Sure. Well, so right now the, um, the rule is not Implement, being implemented nationwide. It's stayed from uh, the courts, um, but that is likely to change. Uh, within the next few months, the courts will be um, trying to figure out, first of all, which court has jurisdiction to hear the challenge to the rule, and then we'll eventually uh, look at the rule itself. So I'd say within the next few months, um, it's possible that the nationwide stay of the rule could be lifted and that it will start going into effect around the country. Um, and so in that case, you know, various states are going to have to um, Regulators are going to have to start, you know, boots on the ground and and getting this in place. And um, you know, it's possible. I think we have a good chance of the rule getting defeated in litigation um, later on. But I think uh, it's probably going to go into effect before that all sorts itself out. Okay. So in the meantime, what should my readers, uh, the golf course superintendents, do to be prepared for if if you know if it does become law? Well, you know, I think the, the, the biggest thing you can do is sort of take stock of your facility and, and, you know, try to understand what the rule does and if there are features on your golf courses that um, you don't have permits for that you might um, need permits for under the rule um, and just start collecting um, information about the features and, and if there's a feature that you think, hey, this ditch is probably not a water of the U.S., um, any, you know, information you can gather on it to support that is great and, um, you know, some of you will want to engage with your regulators and, and talk to them and others will um, want to do more of a, you know, internal look at it and that's, I think, the best thing you can do to just try to understand what the rule does and see whether it changes any of the permitting obligations for your facility. Okay, great. Carrie, thank you for that advice. And again, thank you for the time. Thanks, Seth. Everybody, this is Carrie McGrath. She's with Hunton and Williams in Washington, D.C. Uh, I'm Seth Jones. Look for more on this subject in the November issue of Golfdom. And thank you for watching Golfdom TV.